Hey folks, welcome back to Vidya's Vegetarian Kitchen. Today I'm going to share a super simple instant pot dump and go soup recipe with seasonal veggies. Uh, I'm going to be using some asparagus, broccoli, green peas, uh, and also some basil. It's going to be a delicious soup. Come, let's get started. I have not turned on the instant pot. I'm just gonna dump all the ingredients. Uh, I just added one cup of water. Here I have 600 grams of asparagus. I used the entire 1 kg pack that we get from Costco. After removing the tough ends, it was approximately 600 grams. Here I have some broccoli, approximately two medium sized broccoli heads, uh, 270 grams. You know, just spread them out evenly. And now I'm going to add some sweet potatoes. This is the secret ingredient for the creamy soup. And some fresh green peas, uh, 120 grams and 15 grams of fresh basil. I have all the measurements on my blog post. I'll link it up in the description. And uh, now let's add one more cup of water and some seasonings. Salt, one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of uh, pepper, ground pepper. You can uh, adjust it according to your preference. And I'm just gonna close the instant pot and pressure cook this for six minutes and release the pressure naturally. The cooking part is complete and the pressure is all gone. So here it is. The veggies are uh, soft and tender, well cooked. So now I'm just gonna uh, puree the soup. I'm using a hand blender here. You know, you can use a mixer jar or a blender. In that case, let the veggies cool a bit and then puree them in batches. After pureeing, uh, transfer it back to the instant pot because we'll be simmering the soup for a bit. And for convenience purpose, I have taken out the inner pot of the instant pot. Um, just make sure you're pureeing the soup thoroughly. But if you like veggie chunks, uh, you can just leave a couple of veggies um, here and there. You know, you can just leave them as chunks. The pureeing part is complete and uh, I've set the instant pot back in saute mode and I'm going to simmer the soup for a couple of minutes. At this stage, you can check for the seasonings and add salt or any other spices of your choice. And uh, folks, be careful, you know, the soup will splash at this stage. So just be cautious and turn it off after a couple of minutes. Uh, I just added some salt and here I have uh, red chili flakes, quarter teaspoon. You know, we like that uh, spicy kick. So I'm going with red chili flakes, but that's completely optional. You can also add some cream, uh, you know, or uh, plant-based milk, but I did not add any. And that's it. I'm going to serve now. I'm just garnishing it with uh, Trader's Joe's everything but bagel seasoning uh, and some chili flakes. Again, these garnishes are optional, but it's amazing. If you notice, I haven't added any oil in this soup. So that's it. I hope you all like this uh, asparagus soup recipe. Do give it a try and let me know your thoughts and feedback. And uh, this is going to be the last soup in this uh, soup series for this season. I will group all the soups that I have shared so far in a separate playlist and I'll add the link as well in the description. Uh, so check it out and do let me know your thoughts and feedback and I'll see you next time. Thank you.